broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus. You're watching Mustang News. Good evening, Mustangs. Today is Wednesday, October 29th. I'm Julian Delgadio, and Mustang News starts now. Students can now plan next quarter because pass is now open. As of Wednesday, October 29th, students can map out their schedules for the winter quarter. Priority registration for undergraduate students begins on November 14th, and regular registration for undergrads begins on Wednesday, November 19th. And for all the students who did not fill out their poly planner, registration starts on December 5th. Cal Poly is parking their cars and jumping on their bikes for rideshare month. Commuter and Access Services will be hosting a booth in honor of November's Rideshare Month. There will be activities like a bike fix-it station, free bike registration, a bike demonstration put on by Slow Transit, a prize wheel, and giveaways, and alternate transportation information. The booth will be up and running on Thursday, October 30th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The Computer Science Department has a new class for cloud computing. Understanding the cloud has been one of the biggest questions for an everyday person. There are so many cloud services such as Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, and the list goes on. Computer Science Department has been recently attempting to bring in industry partners for specific courses. Jay Schultz, a software engineer at Workday Incorporated, will be co-teaching the cloud computing class with Professor John Clements. Uh, as far as the cloud computing class goes, um, really at this point it's, it's fairly open-ended. I think we're going to be uh, introducing students to a bunch of different technologies. Uh, hopefully the students are going to be having a good time and, and, and building solutions um, to, to, you know, to particular problems that they have in mind. Uh if you have any more questions about the class, drop by the computer science department for more information. The public will soon have a chance to see the future of Cal Poly. There will be a Futurescape City Tour next Monday, November 3rd, and Tuesday, November 4th. The tours are from 10.10 a.m. to noon and other f others from 2.20 to 4 p.m. in Building 7. This is a chance to get a glimpse of Cal Poly's urban future. Cal Poly's Gender and Equity Center wants students to raise their self-confidence by having a positive body image. <laughs> students who don't feel comfortable with themselves often go to extremes in order to fit in. Having a negative body image can cause people to have problems like eating disorders, anxiety, and depression. The Gender and Equity Center held a workshop that encouraged people to let go of those negative gender stereotypes to educate people how gender is different from biological sex and uh, how people don't have to fit into the classic man box, women box uh, to be respected as people. For future events, students can visit the Gender and Equity Center inside the University Union. And uh, now it's time for our weather out there, San Luis Obispo. Wednesday night will be clear with a low of 52 and low winds. Thursday morning will heat up a bit with a high of 81 and particularly cloudy, hitting a low of 54 and winds up to 9 miles an hour, hitting a low of 54. Uh, Halloween, the day everybody obviously cares about, has a 50% chance of rain. What are the odds, folks, uh, during the day? And it's going to increase to 80% at night. So whatever your plans are, don't forget to bundle up because there's a high chance that this drought's finally going to end for a minute and bring, a, bring an umbrella. And uh, whatever it is your plans are, are going to be, be sure to be safe out there. And that about wraps it up for Mustang News this Wednesday. You could tune into our weekly half hour broadcast that's on Charter Channel 19, UHTV Channel 4.2, and Campus Channel 4.1. You can also find constant broadcast coverage on MustangNews.net. Cal Poly, have a great rest of your day and a great holiday this weekend. And go Mustangs against UCSB on Sunday.